Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Insyaallah in this video I will go through the solutions for question one of our test number one. The first part of question one is related to properties of fluids. In part one, we are asked to explain the term no slip conditions, and then in part two, we are asked to draw the velocity profile assuming linear velocity distributions. To explain the term no slip conditions. No slip condition means that the velocity is zero at the wall. So if we have a flow close to the wall, the velocity is equal to zero at the wall. So this signifies no slip condition. In the second part, we are asked to draw the velocity profile assuming linear distribution. So that will be the velocity profile. Gradient equal to constant. In part B of the questions, uh, we are given a viscometer as shown in the figure is constructed of two 75 cm long concentric cylinder. The space between the cylinders is filled with a liquid that is having a dynamic viscosity mu. The inner cylinder has a diameter of 15 cm. And the gap between the two cylinders is constant, is equal to 12 mm. So the outer cylinder is fixed, while the inner cylinder is rotated at 200 revolution per minute. And the top is measured to be 0 0.8 newton meter. So here, the top is given. So assume the velocity distribution in the gap to be linear, and the top at the bottom is negligible, so basically, the top at the bottom is negligible, so we only need to consider the top at the side of the cylinder. So we ask to, first of all, determine the dynamic viscosity of the fluids. And then if the fluid is having a specific gravity of 0 0.85, determine its kinematic viscosity mu. So let's, first of all, write down all the informations which are given to us. So the height of the cylinder, I called it H, that's given as 75 centimeter. And then the space is filled with a fluid that has dynamic viscosity mu. So this is fluid with viscosity mu. The inner cylinder has diameter of 15 centimeter. Okay, this is the inner cylinder. I call this one D, and that is equal to 15 centimeter, and the gap between the two cylinders is 12 millimeter. So the gap, I call this one T, is equal to 12 millimeter. The outer cylinder is fixed while the inner cylinder is rotated, so omega is equal to 200 RPM. And at the top, given that the top is equal to 0 0.8 newton meter. Then, ignore top at bottom. So we ask to find, first of all, mu and b mu if s is equal to 0 0.8. Now let consider cylinder. And I will consider a small elemental element like that, whereby that distance is equal to dh and that is equal to r, which is actually equal to d over 2. Right? So consider. Top 
on elemental ring. So that is d top is equal to df multiplied by r. But we know that df force there is actually equal to tau multiplied by dA. And we know that tau is actually equal to mu v over t, where t is the thickness of the oil. And if we consider the velocity profile, so let's say this is the, the cylinder which is rotating and this is the outer cylinder. So the velocity there is actually equal to v which is actually equal to omega r. So we can write this is equal to mu omega r divided by d. But if we consider dA, dA is equal to 2 pi r multiplied by dH. Right. So now if I substitute in order to get the top, so I have the top equal to df, df is tau dA, so tau is mu omega r over t multiplied by dA is 2 pi r dH multiplied by r. So that gives me the tau is 2 pi mu omega over t r cube dH. Okay, so now in order to get the top for the whole cylinder, what I need to do is I have to integrate from h equal to 0 to h equal to h so that I cover the whole of the cylinder. So that gives me total top is equal to 2 pi mu omega over t r cube from 0 to h dh, so that gives me tau is equal to 2 pi mu omega r cube over dh. So now if I rearrange in order to get mu, so this implies that I can write mu, so to t multiplied by t divided by 2 pi omega r cube H. So now I can get value of mu. So the top, the top is given as uh, 0 0.8. Multiply by the spacing is 0 0.12 cm divided by 2 pi. Omega is 200, so I have to change that to radian per second, so 200 multiplied by 2 pi by 60. Radius is equal to 7.5 centimeter, so 7.5 times 10 to minus 2, to power of 3, and h is 0.75 meter. So that gave mu is equal to 0 0.231 newton second per meter square. So if I recall again what we did just now, so we consider top on elemental rings. So we just consider elemental ring here, ring element. Then we obtain the expressions for the top. Then we have to integrate for the whole of the cylinder from h equal to 0 to h equal to h. That gives us the expression for the top for the whole of the cylinder. Then after that, we just rearrange to get mu because we asked to calculate mu and substitute the value. So we get a value of 0 0.231 newton second per meter square. The next part of the questions ask us to determine the kinematic viscosity given that specific gravity is 0 0.85.
So here, given S is equal to 0 0.85, so that means that the density is 0 0.85 multiplied by 1000, so 850 kilogram per meter cube. So we can calculate mu, which is mu divided by rho. So that's 0 0.231 divided by 850. So that gives mu is equal to 2.7 times 10 to minus 4.